Hello, lovebugs. There has been a ton of confusion around the Magi Market Hot Pot game. So I want to take you through a real time. This is, I, I am not pre or post recording my voice. I am taking you through a real walkthrough of what it's like to play the Hot Pot game and what I do to win. So I am, oh, I missed that one. See, <laughs> I'm joining this table over here. All right, friends, let's play a game of Hot Pot to really show you all how to play the game, how the rules work, and how it goes. So I'm going to look at whatever I currently have. Um, on PC, you can press E. I'm not sure what the control is on the switch to pull up what your hand is right now. I already have two matching meats and two matching, I think these are like water chestnuts. Um, so I'm probably going to stick with those and then kind of play with the board. Um, I'm not going for seafood in any way this, ha this hand, at least so far. Oh, that worked out. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the potato because I feel like people are always going for the potatoes. Yep, see, someone already snatched it. <laughs> oh, and now there's that meat that I need. So I'm hoping that this meat is going to come back around on my turn so that I can grab it. So mostly the game is about looking at what you have in the start and then deciding what you're going to go for, but then also not sticking to that. Keep an eye on what your fellow uh, team, what your fellow uh, players are trying to get and trying not to A, give them that, and B, um, to take things that they aren't using. So for example, I was able to get that meat because nobody was going for the meats. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the tofu for now. Now I have my first set, which is worth, uh, worth. Originally they said 40 points, but like the, the points aren't matching up to what they told us originally. But you do get more points for scoring three of the exact same. Now I'm going for my third leek and my third water chestnut. So that's what I'm looking for right now. But that doesn't mean that I won't change that strategy um, because I can't get those items if someone else is also trying to get that seems like they're trying to get those items. For right now, though, it's a little early in the game to know. I'm going to go ahead and discard that. Now, another thing that I might try to do um, is grab something to make a, a different set. So I have this extra noodle, right? So what I might try to do is grab the bok choy to go, whoop, whoop, someone took it. Never mind. Um, or grab another, like, like one of the common ones. Okay, so there, for example, I'm going to keep the bok choy instead of the noodle. Because if I get a third green item, I might finish out this set. And um, uh, I might finish out this set as just a regular set instead of waiting for the leak. So it's a little bit of playing on on your toes, paying attention to what people are discarding and what they're keeping um, and a little bit of what you have, uh, what you have when you start. The great thing about it, though, is you're going to get lucky envelopes, whether you win or you don't win. Everyone is kind of a winner. Just some people win more. <laughs> OK, so here's the cabbage that will give me a set of three rather than waiting out for the for getting three leaks. I'm going to go ahead and complete that set so that I can get um, the points for both of those. Now, all I'm looking for is the water chestnut. Uh, so now we're just hoping that that's going to come around on one of these turns. It doesn't really seem like anyone has been grabbing these items, but I also haven't seen a lot of those items. So it's just now it's just a matter of luck. It's a matter a, a matter of of random chance as to whether I'm going to draw it or not. Oh, and there's there's that. But I'm going to discard that. I'm still going for the water chestnuts. And so when you pull down a tile, a lot of people have been really confused about how there's only eight here, but you have to have nine. It's because the only time you can win is at the start of your turn. At the start of your turn is the only time you have nine tiles. So once I pull the water chestnut, oh, it worked. <laughs> pull down the water chestnut and it completes my hand. It gives me the winning hand bonus. So then you can look at all of the players' hands. I went for the meat and then I'm happy that I didn't go just go for the leaks or I wouldn't have won. I decided to swap and go with what I got. And then I ended up getting my water chestnut all across over here oh you can see they they did go for that set um they were also going for the green but probably started with a lot of the meat they were going for a set uh with the the probably the potatoes and then they had some pasta they were still trying to fill and down here they went for that set 
Um, I'm not entirely sure what um, exactly what they were still looking for, but maybe I was stealing stealing all their vegetables. I could see that being uh, the problem they were running into as well. Once you're done looking at the score, you can just hit let's eat and then you can play again. I hope that this answers a lot of the questions that you all have had about playing the hot pot game. Um, I hope that you kind of understand now how the mechanics work. Um, that once you can also see whose turn it is. If you look up in the corner, it will tell you how many seconds that they have left in their turn um, and see who is who is completing um, completing a turn that time. So you can see. Uh, when you're going to be up next, um, but that the re I think a lot of the confusion was around. Um, let's see, I'm going to take that to complete this set, and I'm going to get rid of the potato. Um, a lot of the confusion was around like how do I keep nine? But the whole the whole point is that you can only win at the start of your turn when you're pulling a tile before you would discard. That's how you win. The other thing that people have been confused about has been sets um, having sets of three green. And having it not complete it can't just be three of the same color like for example if this was a cabbage cabbage leek that is not a set it either has to be three of the exact same ingredient that are the exact same color or three completely different ones from the same color that is the only way that you can make sets all right i'm gonna go ahead and grab the meat and go for um the meats over there Again, just trying to fill in with what I have. I also could have gone for the mushroom, gone the other way. Um, so uh, those are just some of the mechanics for the game. Um, obviously, going for the sets, the, the sets that are completely matching are worth more points. But I do think that the winning hand bonus is better to get. So if you can win with a less big bonus, um, sometimes that's the better thing. However, I'm going to be honest, I haven't tested this theory, but I'm going to tell you all about it right now because we're sitting here playing another game. If you play with your friends, I think that you could maximize lucky envelope points by just deciding what everybody is going to get and then going for those items. If you all agreed to go for the highest points items, I believe your table bonus would therefore be bigger everyone at the table would walk away with more lucky envelopes and i really want to test that theory i think that it is something that would work i just need to get three of my community members to come and play with me um, and try it out where we would all say okay i'm gonna go for um i'm just gonna go for completely for meats you go completely for mushrooms you go completely for noodles you go completely for fish whatever the case might be and then oh see so here's a, a time where you might be like maybe it's time to switch and go for mushrooms so i'm actually going to do that <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab a mushroom and see, because it seems like nobody's going for mushrooms and see if I can get a mushroom while I'm waiting for this perfect one. I don't know, maybe too late in the game for me to do that at this point. Uh, <laughs> but I do really think that that could be an interesting way because you get points not only for your own hand, but for the table's hands as well. And then you get a winning hand bonus if you're the one who wins. So it seems like the way to get the absolute most points out of playing Hot Pot would be if everyone kind of agreed um, to, to do that. If you're just looking to maximize your points, oh darn! I think I, I think I'm talking too much instead of paying attention to the game. <laughs> There's a mushroom. I need that mushroom. Nobody take that mushroom. Um. Yes. Give me that mushroom. I think I get rid of the meats and go for the mushrooms. I think is what I'm gonna do. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. No. Never mind. Like maybe this was a bad, a bad decision. Okay, here we go. I can go for this mushroom. Um, so I'm going to swap a meat. And now I'm just waiting for the other mushroom. It doesn't seem like... The reason why I'm switching and going for mushrooms is because it doesn't seem like anyone else at the table is going for mushrooms. So obviously it can be a lot easier to get the things that you need if people are not going for them. See, like no one no one keeps grabbing at these mushrooms. So we'll we'll see. So this person might take them now. I feel like they took them last hand. We'll see. Maybe they were trying the straight the same strategy that I was trying. Another like whoops mistake. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> oh, okay. I need that more than I need the mushroom because that's gonna be harder to get. 
So I'm going to go ahead and grab that this turn to complete this set over here. Plus, at the end, even if I lose and somebody else gets all of the, the um, gets their sets first, I'll get more points for having this than having three different mushrooms. So I'm going to draw that. I'm going to get rid of the meat. Now I have two completed sets. So at the very least, I'm going to have more money at the end. Now I'm really just hoping for the last, the third kind of mushroom probably, rather than trying to get a perfect set of the regular mushrooms because I think someone else grabbed the other one. But yeah, um, again, this is all just a little bit theory, some stuff that we all haven't tested yet. But I hope that this video at least helps you understand um, the mechanics of the game, at least understand how a lot of people were confused on how you got your ninth tile. A lot of people were confused on how they could they could only discard the top one, but that's not true. You can discard any of them, uh, any one that you choose. You just have to click on the one that you want. Um, uh, about how the sets work, a lot of people were saying, I had three, I had three perfect sets. And it wasn't doing it, but I'm every single person I've talked to who said that they had three green, but they were different ones. So like two cabbage and a bok choy. That's not a set. They have to be three different ones. Um, and when I made my original video, I was just going off based of the information I had been given by the by the um, by Singularity Six. I hadn't been going off based on actually playing the game yet. I'd only watched the gameplay that I showed you all in the video. So it's definitely different when you're actually playing the game. And I know this video is going super long, but I'm hoping that actually watching someone play while they are explaining is helping you to actually understand how it works i'm hoping that this is valuable and not just a waste of 15 minutes of your time <laughs> um and again here i'm sticking with going with the mushrooms now i'm waiting for that last mushroom i haven't even seen it i don't think the whole the whole game so i'm hoping it's still hiding in the draw pile somewhere but again if somebody else wins at least i do have two sets already oh there's a different mushroom not the one i'm looking for um, I'm hoping that now, um, and here's the question. Do I go for the random mushroom or do I switch to going for the group and hope that that happens for more points? You know, I think I'm going to go for the extra points. I don't think this is actually the wise choice. Um, but I think the other person is also trying to get this mushroom. So if they can get it, even if it ends the game, it might give us more points as a table overall. So I think, oh, don't touch that mushroom. See, maybe right decision made, right decision made. We'll see. Oh, maybe they're not going for it anymore. Maybe they, oh, see, they gave up on the mushrooms too. And now I'm going to win. Hey, time to eat. <laughs> so as you all can see, a little bit of luck, a little bit of um, work. But see, the points here are break broken up by three of a kind and category matches. So that leads to a table point of how many points we all got together for all of our matches. We get th that many lucky, uh, lucky envelopes. But then because I won, I get an additional 300 lucky envelopes. And then we can look at players' hands and see what they were trying to do. See, this person had the perfect match of the noodles. They were going for the finals here. They also had a set of the green like me. We had, ooh, they were, go they were going for the, the um, uh, heat route. They and they also almost had a full set, but see, they were all probably having a difficult time finishing their sets because they were going all going for the same common. I, I switched to the mushrooms and nobody else was going for mushrooms. And that's why I ended up being able to win. It's because they were all waiting for the same things, which also meant they were all holding them. So if they had water chestnuts and they had water chestnuts and they had water chestnuts, there's only one more set of water chestnuts in all the piles. So it's smarter to try and do things differently from what the rest of the group is doing. And that is 100% why I, why I won. So... Anyway, I hope you all are having lots of fun uh, playing this game. I hope that it makes a little bit more sense now. I hope you can get some wins and get some more lucky envelopes um, and chase all the choppas. Ooh, do I have time to chase a choppa? Okay, anyway, I love you. Bye!